last time we went off, um, I was investigating the usual. I got the suspects out. And, um, gonna be doing the rest of that now. So. Hello, detective. How can I help? Is your... What? I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Huh? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Never mind. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. Alright, so... Any thoughts on the case? I'm afraid not, Detective. We're really at a loss, which is why I was sent to find you. Forgot a personal item at home. What have you got? Keepsakes, hunting equipment, and a variety of small personal items. Need to restock on hunting or fishing supplies? I've got a few minutes to browse. Something for everyone. I guess she's got, yeah, I forgot. She's got ammo. Um. Yeah, that's a really good item. Save and then um, if 
it, if like I'm gonna, I hate to say, I'll cue someone. If it doesn't work, I can just roll back the save. So. Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Whoa! Oh. What the fuck? It had to end eventually, I What the fuck? Suppose. I just rang and guessed that shit. Doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. I, I knew, I knew, like, okay, well, like, I'm sorry for pausing, but it's like, I knew, like, they could change their voice, whatever, to fool them, but be honest, I didn't expect it, but e as was... walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. Ezra? You're alive. Well, congratulations on catching up, detective. Yes, I've been masquerading as Juliana for some time now. What's it going to be, Detective? Join me in getting rich or die defending some outdated oh, yeah, ideas? Right there, and be like, what would it be, man? Not a chance. Your murder spree. Then let us end this. Killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word! I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened when you confronted him? Does it really matter? Yes, of course it matters. The man was a murderer. He even know he is still at large. He attacked me, but it's over now. Your residence is safe. There you are, Detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. Well, yeah, he killed I don't think we could have done it without you. I think that's pretty much it. Alright, so... Alright, so... Um... Some, oh my god, I can't remember the... <laughs> I can't remember the, the quest that it was. First, let me get out of here.
Oh yeah, where where I belong. Um, so we'll go back. I think what I want to do. Maybe someday more places in the world will accept us for who we are. Alright, so I can either, I can basically either want pick it, hack, or um, talk to Dima. I mean, I think basically it's just like, oh, you got high enough hacking skills or... favorite customers. What can I do you for? I'll take a look. Make it fast.
charisma, but I don't think that's gonna help because my charisma's so low. something or what? Pick this. Dima. What can I do for you? I got no choice. Well, I'll quick save. Kasumi says she's seen parts of your memories. Death projections. For Far Harbor and the center of the island. That's unfortunate. She should be focusing on herself. Her new life. She shouldn't have to bear the burden of the outside world. Please. This is a matter best left to me and my advisors. We aren't 
planning to destroy the island. Those projections were merely to help us realize the cost of inaction. Just a handy reference, huh? Expect us to just take your word on it? What are you talking about? What are you planning? That's my responsibility to bear. I'd ask that you not trouble yourself with it. Now, I'm getting sick of this whole noble leader bullshit from you, Dima. Stop, stop hiding. Me. Tell me the truth. This isn't about who's being honest. This is about the future of Acadia. And maybe I should go back and, like, uh, do it the other way around. I'll just, like, skip it. Assume he says that. Hmm? Please. Those projects really? to hand. If this thing involves the whole island, then you need help. I can be your problem solver if you let me in. I'm sorry, but I have to insist. This is a matter of security for all of Acadia. Fine. Keep your secrets. That would be best. That's why I was saying, like, oh, it's up top there because the key is... this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the what children the of Adam have a right to exist on this island. He's right next to the me. same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The Nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's gonna keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight, but at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. 
If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught, or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. fingers everywhere on this island and whatever's in his memories isn't something we can wait for someone else to find good to keep going i don't sleep or eat or anything like that but if you need to you do it Turns out, Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're gonna find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security oh, guarding it. I'm sorry, that. I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll you know, let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. So that's going to be it of this episode. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you fellow gamers and bronies later.